Hey guys, Mary JM. So yeah, I just did a short, and there's Josephine there. So as you can tell, she's still not doing well, but I put Hope's um kitty thing toy here, so she had a comfort thing, and she's still not touching her food really. So yeah, it's the best thing to do. But um, like I said, I did a short video, and I'm posting. Just did a post about how I'm trying to raise funds for Josephine because. The SBCA has paid for Hope and Speckles to get um, put down when anywhere it's $250 or more, <clears throat> which is a lot of money. So, uh, thankfully, the SBCA does it for free if you're on disability, but I'd like to give something back in Speckles, Josephine's, and Hope's name. And I'm going to donate more in March, but for now, I kind of just want something to bring with her because I like. Technically, I do have that money, but then I just spent, like, 50 bucks on Josephine yesterday. So, running low on funds, so I'm just trying to save that. Um, because I know I'll, I'll need comfort food and stuff like that for afterwards, and... I'm not sure how I'm going to be afterwards, so, yeah. Going to save money for that. Um, but yeah, oh, Josephine's using my arm as a hand dress. But like I said, I've had her since she was a little kitten. Saw her being born. She was born underneath the bookshelf. And then the mom forgot about her. So I took her and put it with the other litter. There was three cats in total. Uh, Junior, Hope, which you guys saw, who got put down in June of last year. Hasn't been that long. Speckles again came from my ex. I had to put him down January 5th, and now it's Josephine. So it's February 22nd next week. So, like I said, in a way, it's kind of hard, but at the same time, I've had her for 15 years. It's a long time. Um, I never expected to have conditions, and then people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't have so many cats if you have conditions and this and that. If you can't look after them, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, they didn't cause my condition, so I'm not going to give them up. And then, like I said, I ended up in debt because of it. But I still have my cats. And like I said, Hope lived for 14 years. Speckles I had for three years. He lived till he was 16. <clears throat> Hope had kidney disease, which is Josephine's sister. And uh, Josephine, again, has kidney disease. We didn't get the blood work done, but I know all the signs because I've been through it twice. <laughs> So, yeah, um, you kind of know. And then Speckles had kidney disease and he had cancer in his stomach. So, like I said, the SBCA has definitely been there for me. Like I said, if I take them to any other vet, it's a minimum $250. So, it's like a lot of money <laughs> just for that when I could be spoiling her. So... Yeah, if anybody would like to donate money, again, all the money goes strictly to the SBCA. I'm not going to be taking any money. I'll even film giving them money <laughs> from the S from the thing and get a receipt so you guys could see it. Because uh, I think they deserve it. The SBCA, they do a lot. It's not just for me. They also do a lot of uh, spays and neuters. And they also like look after... Uh, a lot of cats or put down like other animals free of charge so it's like they do a lot it's not just for me so that's why I kind of want to give back and like I said I've already donated lots of stuff to the SPCA I'm donating more I'm donating <laughs> cat toys and cat bowls and food and all that stuff so <clears throat> I'm giving that on Thursday but like I said I'd like to give money to you if I can <laughs> Like I said, anywhere else, $250. <laughs> so I kind of don't want to take take advantage of them either. So that's why I like to give back. Um, but yeah, if you do, if anybody does donate money, then I'd make a photo collage and make a whole bracelet. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I'll be working on the next day and like the next two weeks. Because I'm taking two weeks off to be at home to cook, clean catch up on my place, declutter, change my room, <laughs> uh, and then, like I said, just adjusting to everything is hard, No, oh, so cute, I don't know if you could see her, <laughs> she's using my hand as a pillow, 
but yeah, it's it's tough, and I know people are like, well, you, I've been through this so much, like, June last year, or then February, then January, no, February, so three times, and that's a, the other reason why I want to take them to the SPCA is because I know what to expect, and I've already been through it at the SPCA, and it's kind of a long process through them, but at the same time, it's cheaper, so it's better, and like I said, I'm more comfortable at the SPCA because I've already been through it. I don't know how other vets are going to do it, if they do it the same way. So, yeah, so just trying to uh, raise funds, and I've been cooking since I've been awake because I need comfort food, <laughs> and that's the way that uh, helps heals me. But like I said, uh, a lot of people feel bad that I've had to go, go through this. But at the same time, that's what happens when you have old cats. You don't live long, unfortunately. Uh, I know a lot of kittens that don't live long. Junior was, I think, three or four when he passed away in my arms. Their brother. So he didn't live that long. But yeah, just in general, nobody lived long. So... Um, I've come to terms with it. It's harder to see her in the state, which is why I'm glad that I could go on Thursday next week because I, I was going to do it this week, but then I'm busy this week. So I know I want to do it when I know I could take time off. So that's why I was like, next week, take time off. I'll still be vlogging, of course, but <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's tough. But like I said, you got to do what's best for the cat. The hardest part for me, though, has been arguing with people about it. <laughs> Thankfully, this time, so far, nothing. But with Speckles, I had to constantly argue with people about, oh, not giving him up, giving him to, him to a no-kill shelter to take over. And I'm like, he's 16 years old, dude. <laughs> Let him die in peace. Jeez. It's like Josephine. She's 15 years old. I want her to die in peace. I don't want her to go through all that crap. <laughs> but so far, nobody said anything. With Hope, people said something. Or the other thing was, oh, you should put them down now, right away. Don't wait. I'm like, it's $250. Come on. <laughs> and then I got a paper to gab, and I need time to process it. So that's the other reason why I like waiting till next week, because, like I said, Josephine is still eating, but she's super skinny, and all she does is pretty much stays up here in the scratching post. Other than when I take her out at night time, and then she goes straight back up. But she has been uh, eating a little bit more. And I got her cat grass that's down here. That has to grow. <laughs> so I got her cat grass, and she seems to like it. She's been using it right away. But yeah, like I said... Having these conditions and then having to look after three cats on my own has been dreadful and hard. So that's why I'm okay with letting her go because I know it's her time. I've been <laughs> sacrificed so much that I'm still paying off debt. And it's just hard looking after somebody else when you have to look after yourself and living with conditions and, and not having a lot of money. So... That's why I was like, oh. it's tough, but like I said, I want to travel again. Part of me wants to get another pet, but then, like I said, any pet, even small pets, it's going to cost at least $100 per month, which I can't really afford if I travel. <laughs> so it's like, no, I just use Freddy, my stuffed animal, as my pet, <laughs> as you guys know. So, but yeah, you could tell by her face. And the way that she's acting. She's ready. Just like Speckles was. She's like, I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> hey, Josephine. That's why I keep saying, I don't want to live past 70 or 70 if I, if I had the choice. And Josephine's 70. She outlived all my cats, except for Nino, who's 17. And then Speckles is 16. But she still outlived, well... She still lived longer than him, but she was she's still a year younger, so technically she didn't outlive him. But 
You guys know what I mean. So, yeah. I don't want her to pull out of the scratching post because she doesn't like it. But there she is. But she's pretty much always there. She doesn't even sleep on the bed anymore. She's always up on the scratching post. That's it. Except for when she eats and has water. So the cat it water fountain down there, which she was drinking of this morning. She ate a little bit of food, not much. I bought her so many different kinds of food yesterday to see, like, if she would eat any of it. She eats a little bit, but not really. So, even the dry foods are still a lot, so. <sighs> yeah. But, so if you would like to donate money, that would be awesome. Again, none of the money is going to me. You don't have to. It's just, I'm telling people that I'm trying to raise money for the SPCA and my cat's names. And then in March, I'm going to donate 100 and their names. So, um, it'd be nice to, that they could have that. But I'm not going to do that till March. Or I might just do like 15 in March and then 15 in April. And it'll be like a hundred, so. But yeah, because I'm on disability, so I don't have a lot of money that I could just donate to things, unfortunately. When I brought in a third cat, <laughs> it's like, ugh. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I'm going to be really happy to just look after myself, be able to travel again, hopefully. And... Focus on my place. Get get out of town for a while. <laughs> Hopefully in uh, March. We'll see. I know I'm actually thinking of going to Hope. <laughs> because my cat's name is Hope. So I was thinking of going there for like a day or two. And seeing what it's like. And be like, hey, I'm in Hope. Named after my cat. <laughs> There's Josephina. So yeah. So anyways, I want to get back to cooking. I got to still charge my phone. My charge, my phone's been weird, like I said. But I'm a daily vlogger. Again, I have unknown chicken condition, chronic fatigue syndrome, surviving triplet. I just put down two cats. Now I'm putting down a third cat. But in the end, it's best for me and her because it's really hard, like I said, to look after another thing when I'm done with all this other stuff. So... And the cost is just insane for pets. Right, Josephine? But she seems to be fine for now. So yeah, once again, if you guys would like to donate, please do. But it's not mandatory. Just saying if you can, that'd be awesome. But don't worry if you can't. Just letting people know. And yeah, so like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, next, next vlog will be what I've been cooking. <laughs> I gotta charge my phone soon. But I'm cooking a lot because I have to head out around 2.30. So, yeah. Trying to cook as much as I can, eat while I cook. <laughs> so, but I, I love cooking. Especially chopping things up, like I said. It's a good stress relief and helps me to be able to deal with everything that I'm dealing with, but I'm okay. Like I said, I've had her since she was a little, little kitten, little, little kitten. You guys want to see the photos again? I have them over here, so you could see. The little, little kittens. That's them. Like right there, right here. That was Hope when she was first born. The one that I just posted, I of the photo with the kitten. I think it that was Josephine. It's hard to tell them apart, but they were so cute. I miss them being kittens, actually. <laughs> They're so durable, but so much work. Don't get kitten. If you guys can't look after yourself, don't get kittens. Please don't get kittens. They're a lot of work, more than what I could handle. I had three kittens, and it was insane. It was crazy. Because you also have to um, feed them and stuff like that, like bottle feed them. 
and they're up all night, and then they'll sleep all day, and some of them don't sleep at all, so you're, and you constantly just gotta keep your eye on them, because they get into everything. <laughs> Mine was going up the curtains when I lived in North Vancouver. I was like, whoa. But yeah, they're just a lot of work. A lot, a lot, a lot of work, so. But you could tell, Josephine's ready. She's like, uh, I'm just up here for now. So, yeah, anyways, daily vlogger, so it's, like I said, it's bittersweet. Um, every, all good, all good things come to an end, is the saying. So, that's true. All good things do come to an end, and like I said, nobody lives forever. And then I work on and loving many projects to help me grieve, so that's what I'll be working on this week, this weekend, and, um, after. So, lots of those. I might even do some today with uh, Family's Kids because they like helping me with projects. So, because I have a cat up there that's blue and that's one that the kids helped me with and then I put the hope on it. There's another one <coughs> that says hope and I just did that myself. And then of course I'm wearing the Nicholas still. That says, uh, here we go, not beside me, but forever in my heart. So this really helps having it too. But yeah, I have, like I said, there's a lot of uh, custom things that you could buy for your pets. And I'm like, that's too heartbreaking for me if I had a speckled stuffed animal. And I'm surprised people don't go crazy. <laughs> Thinking it's really them, because some people do. That's why I was like, wow. So, yeah, anyways, I'm still awake, and I actually woke up with an alarm because of my allergies. So, I was like, uh, I guess I'm awake. <laughs> I guess I'm awake. I don't really want to be awake, but that's why I'm cooking, because. I was out all day yesterday, so I couldn't do that, and then I was, like I said, I was going to get dressed up and then dance in my outfits, but can't really do that with Josephine right now, when she's just, I don't want to pull her out of the scratching post, but at least at night time I took her out for a walk, and then she's fine, so then that's when I could hold her and dance with her and do stuff with her without interfering. But yeah, 15 years. I, I can't, I still can't believe it's been 15 years that I've had her, and hope I had for 14 years. And like I said, they've been through everything with me. Not having any teeth, like, I don't have teeth right now. <clears throat> so when I actually got the kittens, I didn't have any teeth, so I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> so I looked after them. <laughs> And, uh, once again, I do have a better story about my cats, but basically Nino fell in love with the stray cat. Nino was my original cat. Phantom was a stray. Nino was fixed. But Phantom lived for six months, and she was pregnant with cancer. So, then, we put her through surgery, had the kittens, looked after the kittens, and the cancer spread, and they wanted me to put her through surgery again. I'm like, no, no, just let her get half time with the kittens. And then that's why I go, sometimes it's just best not to keep forcing pets to live when they've been through so much already. And then again, the cancer spread less than six months. So who's to say we go through all that treatment and then the cancer spreads again. And then it's hard on the kittens, and it's hard on Nino. And then Nino pretty much passed away right after Phantom did. Because uh, he had cancer. And then... But that's how I ended up with the cat family. Which is funny, because I'm not a cat person. <laughs> Everybody thinks I am. They're like, oh, you must be the crazy cat lady. I'm like, nope. They actually all came to me. <laughs> I, I wanted mice, man. <laughs> I wanted mice and rats and ferrets, but not anymore, because even just having mice or rats, that costs money, and you gotta have more than one. Oh, Josephine's coming out. 
Yay. I'm coming up. See how skinny she is? Like, she is so skinny. It's insane. How skinny she is. And, like I said, if when you're cats, usually when cats get skinny, and you can feel <clears throat> the, the spine, that's usually means they have kidney disease. And like I said, with Hope, we actually had... We did the blood work done. That was $250. And then the vet told me, well, you could put her through treatment, but most likely she's going to pass away at the hospital getting blood work done or treatment done because of her age, being 14 years old. So that's why we put down hope. And then that's why we didn't put speckles through blood work because it's going to be the same thing. Same thing with Josephine. Just, it's just, yeah, it's a lot of stress that I don't want to add on to my cats. And some people could understand, and some people can't. She's drinking water from the cat at Pony. <laughs> That's good. At least she's drinking water. Because she wasn't drinking, she didn't barely drink any water yesterday. And the day before, that's why I contacted the SBC. Because I was like, I, I know it's time. You, you know in your heart it's time. So... <laughs> Yeah, I know, I keep saying I'm going to get ready, and then I end up talking because I don't shut up. <laughs> I keep talking about the same things over and over and over and over and over again, so. I do apologize, but part of that is my disability. Part of it's blowing off steam. Part of it's helping me cope. So, I'm really glad that you guys actually enjoy watching me and listening to me go through all this stuff because, yeah. It is hard, but like I said, I'm really too at the same time, because now I could just focus on myself, focus on my conditions, travel again, have money again, <laughs> have money again, uh, especially now since everything is so expensive, it's crazy, so yeah, let's see, I'm at 32%. So, um, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Once again, if you could donate towards the SBSA, um, you could either email me, marymartin1580 at gmail.com, or you could contact the SBSA, too, and let them know that you want to put, uh, funds in for my cats under their name and their memory, and that's another way, too, so... Like, if you don't live in Vancouver and you want to help out the SBCA in your town, you could always contact them and say, Hey, I know somebody who's got so much help from the SBCA in Vancouver, but I can't send them money, so could I send you money or give you guys money on their behalf? That also helps, but SBCA is good. Um, so, just some of the vets aren't the best, but... Like I said, uh, when I took Matim to the SBCA, they, did, they were going to put her down. They didn't know she was pregnant. <laughs> Until I took her to another clinic, then they found out she was pregnant. Like, imagine if they put her down, Josephine would not be here. So, but it's just like, wow. They didn't even know. <laughs> I knew. I was like, their stomach's so big, there's got to be a reason for it. So... But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get ready to finish cooking, I'm going to upload these two videos, recharge my phone, and then hopefully I'll have the chance to show you guys what I made. If not, I will record when I'm walking, because I always do. <laughs> but it's kind of cold out today, and I'm very bored without my phone, <laughs> and I'm smoking, but that's how I deal with everything, so but don't feel bad for me because I don't like I said I've had them for 15 years I'm I'm kind of relieved now because now I could just focus on myself my conditions I don't have to get up all the time to look after somebody else have, oh my god having three cats was insane I almost gave them up but I didn't I almost gave up suckles but I didn't actually somebody even offered me two grand for him and I'm like nope because <laughs> I don't trust them. And, yeah, no. So, I gave up a lot for that cat. No, Josephine's going back up to her scratching post.
Hey, Josephine. See, look how skinny she is. She could still jump, though. At least. But yeah, she's... I hope you guys can see how skinny she is. She is super skinny. <clears throat> super, super skinny. So... Anyways, on that note, I'm going to upload these videos. Charger might go up for a smoke and charge these phones. Once again, you guys don't have to donate to the SBCA. I'm just saying if you guys would like to donate on behalf of my cats, it would really help out the SBCA. Not me, but you got, again, you guys don't have to. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Welcome to my haunted world. XOXO OG Ghost.